it looks like to me, not only are you uh, teaching this young fella how to cook a dish, uh, but also some of the techniques of, uh, of actually getting it done, check wagon style. About getting your uh, coals in the right place and stuff. And if you want to get, let me get you a hook. Okay. And pick that up and move it right over there. You guys might need these again? I think I'm okay for now. I'd move him up front. I've got to get that fire going. Yeah, you, you can. I can't. 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 I can so take the ball from this side and scoop it over to that side, yeah. just like you did before. Try not to get the dirt, just the coals, okay? There you go. Watch your food. I've melted the toes in my boots before. These in particular. <laughs> okay, scrape those coals over there, down in the pit. And there's one up on top. There you go. All right, now it's hurry up and wait time. Okay, so we're gonna rotate the pot in 10 minutes. We gotta get our chicken fries ready to go. And Ron's gonna get the fire going. Okay, okay. So just stick that in the dirt. That's handy for when we need it next time. You know where to look. You put everything back every time. They're cooking, they're making you know breakfast. You know where it's at, you're not gonna, oh my god, oh my god, where's it at? No, they did not have to. All right. Hi there, would you mind uh, telling us your name and where you're from? I'm Owen Matthews and I'm from here in Cheyenne. Okay, have you ever participated in anything like this before? No. How much cooking experience do you have? Mm. Axel's going to bring you another Not a lot, but not a little. And that's pretty much at home? Yeah. Have you uh, done any cooking over coals or uh, anything I, like that, like an bar outdoor barbecue? I cooked coals on a grill. Okay. Okay, so cast iron cooking is a little bit new to you. What have you learned so far that you haven't learned before? Techniques. Pardon? The techniques for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. How to cook a peach cobbler. Oh, right. And uh, have you ever eaten any chuck wagon food before? Mm, yes, I think once. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I know that you're going to have a lot of fun. Hi there, I'm with another youth competitor, and what's your name and where are you from? Axel, and I'm from Manny, Louisiana. All the way from Louisiana? Yes, sir. Well, did you come specifically to attend the rodeo? No, sir, I came to work in the parades. Ah, okay. Well, I may have uh, some video of you from this past Tuesday morning. Oh. If you were in the parade, I shot everybody that was in the parade. Yes, sir. Of course, sometimes... Uh, if you were on a wagon with some people facing one way and the other people facing another way, I couldn't catch everybody's faces. So <laughs> I apologize if that happened to you. Well, what are you learning here today? Is this your first time to uh, learn how to do chuck wagon cooking? I've done it before, uh, Red Stagall, but I'm learning new oh. things and it's fun. Okay. Well, how does this experience compare with the uh, Fort Worth experience with Red Steagall's today? The one I did in Fort Worth, we didn't, well, we fully cooked everything on Dutch oven, but we didn't cook the chicken fried steak. We cooked a meatloaf in a Dutch oven. I see. And it was a bunch of different people and a lot more people. It was crazy. All right. What have they got you working on right now? Right now we're cooking a peach cobbler, making baking it, and we're gonna be making chicken fried steak and Dutch oven. We're gonna do it over the fire in the frying pan and oil. So All right. All right. And uh, you'll have to be real careful about that. Yes, sir. That grease, woohoo! It has a tendency to get out of the skillet if you're not real careful. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. And uh, I know that your instructors are 
very experienced at doing this kind of thing, and they can sure teach you a whole lot. Anything else you would like to say? Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, subscribe to Dusty Rains. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Here is another contestant, and tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Hadley, and I'm from Oklahoma. Wow. So yeah. Oklahoma is a long ways away from Cheyenne, like Wyoming. 13 hours. Yes. I came from Amarillo, which oh. is a little bit closer. Yeah. But uh, it was quite a trip for me, too. Well, how did you wind up here? Uh, my grandpa is over there cooking, and um, he's just done chuck wagons for a long time and got me into it. Okay. And the reason you're not cooking over there with him is because there was a drawing that was held to yeah. see where you you guys would be, which wagon you guys would be yep. cooking with. All right, so what have we got going here? I see uh, uh, cornflakes. Yep, I'm making a chicken fried steak with flour, buttermilk, and eggs with some cornflakes. Okay. And uh, have you already done your cobbler? Yes, the cobbler is chilling over somewhere where I don't know. Uh, probably over on that table, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so how much cooking experience have you had already? Um, well, I've uh, in December I made a little business thing and I made, like I raised money to buy a MacBook and um, I made over $500 and um, Last year I got second place in desserts in China. Oh, so you are already experienced at this kind of thing, yeah. especially if your grandfather has a wagon down the way there. I'm sure you've seen a lot of it yeah. in operation as well. Yeah. You know how to handle yourself around uh, open fires and uh, hot cast iron steel. A bubbling grease and yeah. all those kinds of things. All right, well, I think you might have a jump ahead. Uh, We've got a lot of time left, so we're going to have to find yeah. something to do. Okay, <laughs> definitely. Well, that'll give me plenty of time to get around to all the contestants, I hope. All right, well, have you learned anything uh, new yeah. here um, with your new instructors? So the chicken fried steak burnt a little bit, so the oil was a little hot, okay. so we had to fix that. Okay. And you didn't have any extra meat maybe well, to we've substitute? Got, like, that was just some of our tin like our extra pieces that we cut off. This is the actual meat that the that will cook for the like the to send in. For the, the turn in. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, good luck on your endeavors you. and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right, take care. You might go ahead and see how your copper's doing and then Come sit down and drink some water. You take your gloves off and go this way. How's everything going so far? Very good. Very good. Excellent. And how is your and your student doing we today? We have an excellent junior cook. I tell you what. All right. We've got high hopes. I think she's going to win first place. Excellent. Well, I just discovered she's got some tough, tough competition. Well, you know. It, we all have tough competition. It doesn't mean whether it's the juniors or the, or the others. It's it's a tough competition, and it's just a matter of whether you put the right spices and the touch of love to it that the, that the judges like. And yeah, sir. You never know. I mean, it's uh, you know I've, I've turned in stuff I thought was too salty and it won. And, I've turned in stuff I thought wasn't salty enough and it was. So it's a matter of the taste buds of the judges and so we're hoping that she's got the right combination in, in what she's doing. Yeah, it still needs to cook. So like how much so I think the bottom is getting close to being done. We can check it in So that's one of the things I was trying to scrape the bottom and see. So. Someone's phone's ringing over here. That's a timer. Okay, what's going on? Alright, so. What time are they supposed to turn? 12. 12. Alright. So, what we're going to do is, it's called double baptizing our little spoons. We're going to lightly flour them. Then, we're going to dip them in the wet, the wet. And then, let them drip a little, and then back in the in heavier in the back. Flour. So, light. And you want to light. Right. A little heavy, let them drip, then heavier, and then and we're going to pat, gonna pat, pat them. You want to pat the flour into the meat really good. You want it to be a good, tight pat. 
Yeah. That'll help keep keep the flour on the beef. Yeah. And the fact that we're drying on the good. Are you happy with your meat? Did you get trim any fat? Do we have a clean pocket knife? Mine's clean. Have it used to Okay. Let me trim, since we have some time, trim this off with just the bigger chunk knife. And then, let's see. Right there. That way the judge doesn't get a little mouthful. Bobby, it's right here. And one more. It's just clean. Yeah, my, my, Yours is clean. I, I've never. Where are you from and what's your name? Uh, I'm from Broken Bow, Oklahoma. It's by Ho Chi Town. Okay, she Southeast. came long distance then. Mm -hmm. So, what brought you here? Uh, my Uncle Dan was cooking here, so I wanted to come and just help him out. Ah, so I bet you've already got some cooking experience on casting iron and open flame. I do. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what are you currently working on? Uh, my chicken fried steaks. I'm about to bread them and put them on. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you learned anything new with your new instructors that you yep. haven't already learned before? Make sure to wait for the flame to get good. And the other ones. All right. Pack it tightly. Okay. And um, have you already done your cobbler? I have. I did a breaded peach cobbler. You like to see? A breaded peach cobbler. Okay. Set right over there. All right. Dutch oven style. Have you been involved in cooking contests before? I have. I helped my uncle at Oklahoma City in their uh, cook-off over there. Tell me a little bit about that. So they're in Oklahoma City to make me want to go. Yeah, uh, we make big, big peach cobblers in like 16 inch Dutch ovens. And then we make like, we wake up pretty early, start on it and visit with the people. Okay. Now, is this your first, first time here? No, second time here. Okay. Well, how would you compare the uh, number of people that come by and watch you guys uh, between these two locations? Yeah, there's more here than there is at Oklahoma City. Okay. Well, that gives me more encouragement to go to Oklahoma City and check that one out for sure. You should. Okay, so we're going to start breading. I don't want my, my stuff to So, I'll do it like that. I'm going to do it like that. Okay, that's the first flower. Then we put it in the wet, do it, and then flip it. And then lift it up, let it drip a little there. Okay, now do it back in your... And then what I like to do is do something like that. We can always make more flour. And then I like to press it like this to get that flour really ready to stick on there. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. And then I pat it like this. And I'm going to let you do the other ones, but I'm just going to show you. And then we're going to lay it right here. Number one. Okay. This is Paxson. Would you like to say anything to the camera? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma. Um, Mustang, Oklahoma. Oh, wow. I think you are the third person I've talked to so far from Oklahoma. What brings you here? Friends, have fun. Okay. Are they connected with some of the other wagons that are here? Um, yes, Jack Ramey. Oh, okay. So have you been involved in chuck wagon cooking before? A little bit in Mustang, and in that metro. I see. Is this your first yes. uh, competition here for the mm -hmm. It's my you? first time ever. Great. Oh, wow. I Excellent. hear you have a big brother. Yeah, Riker, Tim. And has he done well? Yes, he won last year. Oh, wow. I'm actually using his pie recipe. Okay. Let's wait. Let's get so, a little more flour. So he won here, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. He's got a big bump on. I just, okay. I told him to get out of my camp and he's probably mad. Uh, we, we don't need him. You, you're a great chef all on your own. <laughs> now I'm a little bit biased. 
But I really do hope y'all can make it down to the Charles Goodnight they usually do. cook-off as well. Cross Timbers Wagon usually does. But Jack Ramey's Wagon usually goes. Is that Texas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in Clarendon. Yeah. That oh, yeah, in Clarendon. I'm sure you don't. Know. Okay, no. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know, Jack. Like press <laughs> a little and then lay it very gently. Okay. Good job. Okay, we're going to make sure that we keep this as clean as we can. Okay. I think we had a bread over here, Joanne. You can certainly start. Uh huh. Yeah. And then uh, they can rest yep. for a little while anyway. Yeah. There's the timer again, Bobby. Yeah, we all get to eat uh, lunch together. Yeah. Okay. Two more. That's why I wear gloves. Because when my hands get messy, then I can take my gloves off and start up. <laughs> All right, well, the best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Well, I'll give you one of my cards, too. And it'll be a while before these show up because I'm running behind. I covered two chuck wagon races in Texas and in Oklahoma this year. <laughs> so that will kind of fill up some of my uh, Thursday video programming. I publish five videos per week. And, uh, well, it, yeah. I might please start right. Me and my sister might start our own YouTube channel. Oh, well, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, out on the ranch. Oh. It could be a lot of fun, but it also uh, is some work, too. Yes. Keep it up with the YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, it is. I publish, I currently publish five videos per week. Five videos? Yes. And each day has a little bit of a different theme. Flour first, then flour first, then the liquid, and then back to the flour. That's okay on that. Go ahead and do that one more time. So you said you were gonna do a little interview? Yes. Right, what can I help you with? Well, introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. I'm Delina McDonald. I'm actually from Cheyenne. Uh, I've been doing the Chuck Wagon Cook-Off for four years now. Oh, wow. Um, the, so on my first year that I did it was in 2018 and I won first in desserts. Wow, first time. Mm -hmm. So during this Chuck Wagon Cook-Off, they give you a belt buckle if you win yes. for first. And so I have two belt buckles because last year I also won first for Oh, first. wow. Wow. So, so this is going to be very competitive. Probably the most competitive one I have ever documented before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I, I am very competitive and I really like cooking, especially peach and peach cobbler. It's my favorite, all-time oh, wow. favorite. Wow. So making it is just, I add a bunch of random stuff into it and I'm like, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, that'll well what good. got you started in Chuck Wagon Cooking to begin with? Okay. Well, so I was just really good at like cooking mm -hmm. and I've always wanted to do little cooking things. And then my dad told me about this and I didn't realize it was going on. Ah. So three, four years ago I started doing it and okay. It's been my favorite since. Okay. Now, are you a country girl or a city girl? I am kind of a mix between both. I okay. have four horses. I live kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. I have a lot of acreage, but I definitely dress like a city girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, well. So, I guess, uh, what do you... Well, it looks like you're working on breading some chicken fried steak yes. right now. We're breading the steak. We just made our dough. Our dough is right here. It looks like uh, that. Yeah. Looks pretty good. And then afterwards, we're going to cook on the open fire. Yes. And we're going to make sure that everything's good. And then we turn it into the judges, about 12. Okay. And we're good to go. All right. Hopefully, that I get great. first. Right. Now, uh, are you relying completely on your uh, cookies here to tell you what ingredients to use, how much, and that type of thing? Or are you adding some of your own? secret sauce so to speak <laughs> i'm honestly kind of just doing whatever i feel like i should add okay i might have just spilled your chili flakes hmm? you might have done what uh, you might have just spilled your chili flakes <laughs> it's all right just brush them on the floor that'll be fine <laughs>
Yeah, I'm just using my, my own recipe. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just adding random things. Maybe it'll taste good. Maybe you know what? If you have fun, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. She's having said. a blast. Yeah. I am. <laughs> and you're military, right? Yes, I'm Which in the military. Which one are you? Um, I'm like mixed. Hudson. Hudson. Oh, no, but what committee are you from? Are you already from? Um, nice. I am from the cross. Cross chamber. All right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Well, I hope that uh, you do great. Thank As, you. Uh, Any more water? Are you good? We're good. Thank okay. you. Cook could use one. <laughs> now, I'll tell you a secret, which isn't really a secret. I have been to many of these chuck wagon cook-offs. And there is an 11-time world champion based in the Texas Panhandle wow. by the name of Sue Cunningham. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. That's her book right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, excellent. Yeah. Sue, look. <laughs> look at there. There's your cookbook. Hold up the cover there so she'll know which one it is. No, that's, that's oh. it over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have to cut that out. <laughs> Uh, but she is wonderful, wonderful. She is really good. All right, but I was just going to say that, uh, you know, no, that's there is no problem with being a female and participating in what is traditionally. Um, there we go, Sue. All right. You're famous, girl. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. So you have a she I bought all all every edition of hers last year out of Texas at the World Ranch Rodeo finals and visited with her and she autographed every one of them for Oh you. wow. Go ahead and get you wow, 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 wow. Excellent. Go up to the wash station right quick and wash up. So my name's Hudson Conway and I live in Mustang, Oklahoma, and Oh, I'm about to live on a farm at my pawpaws. Jack Ramey over there somewhere. Yeah, okay. It's pawpaws Jack Ramey from Mustang, Oklahoma. Yeah. All right. Do you have a brother that is here too? Yeah, I have. Well, I don't have a brother. I have two sisters. Oh, okay. Um, I have a sister that is over there somewhere, and then I have an older sister that's cooking. Thank you. Okay. Have you done this kind of thing before? I've done it last year. Yes. All right. And was that here? Yes. Okay. I've cooked a lot with my grandpa. Wow. I think this is the first youth cooking contest I've ever been to where there were experienced contestants. And let me tell you, the competition here is tough, tough, tough. Oh, yeah. How did you do last year? Um, I got fourth in pretty much everything. All right. So my grandpa got first. He is first pretty much every year. And then my friend, he got first last year, and then my cousin, he got, he gets first a lot, but he's not here this year. Oh, I see. Come. Okay. And then my sister, she got second last year, and then my cousin got third, my other, my, so the first cousin I said, that's his sister. That's the, that I said that, that third. Wow, so uh, this kind of thing seems to be in the family DNA then. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> my grandpa, my papa introduced me th to this. Okay, so where are you at right now in preparing your two dishes? Um, I, I just finished my chicken fried steak and we are about to work on our pie. Cobbler. Cobbler. <laughs> okay. And what type of cobbler is it going to be? Um, peach. Peach cobbler. All right. Have you learned anything new in this experience this year? Um, yeah, I learned a whole new recipe. All right. Now, your counterpart down there, I just got through talking to her, she's kind of making up her own recipe a little bit there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much following her, but we both followed the instructions mostly. Oh, okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Hopefully you get some better interviews. All right. Did I give you one of my cards? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah, looks like I'm roped in. Do you mind if I cross through under the fly? To